Hey everyone, welcome to Technical Voice. In the last video, we have created a virtual machine and installed all the required tools to build our project. So, in this video, we will uh, register the uh, agent machine in our agent pool for you know for the self-hosted machine to build our project. So, let me flip to my uh, virtual machine and let me uh, sign in as. Uh, for the Azure DevOps portal on this machine. So, technical voice. Okay, so I have just uh, signed in on the Azure DevOps portal from my virtual machine. So you know this virtual machine needs to communicate with our DevOps portal. So for this, uh, we need to give permission to uh, this machine to communicate with our, uh, you know, the portal. So, so for this, we, we need to create a, a personal access token. So go to your user settings personal access token hit on new token and uh, name the token let's say VM agent token Oops. and we need to select the show all scopes and we need to select the actually this is in terms of scope that means what are the permissions we are giving to this token so you know we need to use uh, as agent pool so select these both one and create and copy this and save otherwise we can lose this token not bad let's save it <clears throat> now you need to go to the organization settings go to the agent pools and currently we don't have any agent you can see let's create a new agent so you can see that or uh, depending on your machine it's giving all the steps to you know to download or to configure uh, your agent pool so for Windows let's download so go to the resources download copy this and paste it in there and let me extract all extract so it will take uh, some time to extract the all files okay so it's all extracted or uh, it takes around two to three minutes depending on the machine of your virtual machine so let's open the uh, powershell and let me go to this place okay now we need to run the config it's not been con fig.cmd so let me run it okay so enter the url of your uh, devos port portal so this is the url copy paste and now we need to give the 
authentication type we will use the uh, personal access token and this is the token Okay, enter agent pool as a default. Yes, agent name that's fine. So enter the work folder. Uh, let's create a work folder. Let me create here work. We will see that we will configure in next videos. So the let's work. enter yes yes enter generating file permission let me enter it so the service agent machine started successfully and let me go to my portal you can see that it just registered and then now it's showing the online so this is how you can uh, register your agent machine your private machine or wherever your machine is to that your devops or portal so in the next video we will use this agent machine to build our pipeline okay thanks bye bye